The foreign ministers of Turkey and Germany have agreed to improve relations, soured after a period of high tensions. Und wir sind auch sicherlich nicht in allen Fragen einer Meinung. Aber ich glaube, wir haben die Verantwortung an dieses, groß, dieses große historische Erbe und auch dem Willen unserer Bevölkerungen zu einem guten Miteinander zu finden, dass wir das wieder, oder dass wir das nicht vergessen dürfen. Und wir beide haben es uns zur Aufgabe gemacht, alles dafür zu tun, dass die Schwierigkeiten, die es im deutsch-türkischen Verhältnis gegeben hat, überwinden werden können und dass wir in Erinnerung daran, was uns alles verbindet, auch wieder zu mehr Gemeinsamkeiten für die Zukunft finden. The apparent bid to restore friendlier ties was made on Saturday when Zygmar Gabriel, Germany's foreign minister, hosted his Turkish counterpart, Mouloud Çavuşoğlu. The Turkish foreign minister said, we have differences of opinion in some issues. Our relations were strained, but we believe that this can be overcome through dialogue. Ankara and Berlin have clashed over a number of issues in recent years, especially after the last failed coup attempt in Turkey. The tensions increased in part due to the ensuing imprisonment of German journalists and activists by Turkish authorities on terror charges, as well as Germany's refusal to hand over asylum seekers Turkey alleges were involved in the coup attempt. In Germany, members of a terrorist organization hold protests and German police contact them through their official social media accounts, saying we are at your service tonight. In France, they hang a poster for the leader of the terrorist organization, and French police do nothing. PKK is considered a terrorist organization by EU member states. So why are they treating members of this group like that? During the visit, Çavuşoğlu said one cause of disagreement was whether Turkey should be allowed to join the European Union, a move that Germany opposes. Turkey is of great importance to the EU, especially when it comes to issues such as controlling undocumented migration to Europe, fighting terrorism and solving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The EU is Turkey's number one import and export partner. Relations between Ankara and the EU, however, have been strained in part over human rights in Turkey, refugee migration and Turkey's quest for free visa travel for its citizens across the EU. During a visit to Paris on Friday, Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan said Ankara is tired of its slow EU membership process. He said, unfortunately, we took the first steps in 1963, and it's now been 54 years that Turkey has been waiting in the antechamber of the EU. Pessimistic about Turkey's EU bid, the French President Emmanuel Macron said the dialogue between the two sides should perhaps be rethought, not in the framework of membership, but maybe of cooperation or partnership. Turkey became eligible for EU membership in 1997 and accession talks began in 2005, with no progress made in recent years. Erdogan is one of two senior Turkish officials making trips to EU countries in what analysis say is a diplomatic offensive to reset relations with the 28-member bloc.